So this handlebar, what I was looking for was something that brought my hands into a more natural position. And I was just holding two pieces of tubing in my shop at night and just kind of moving them around. And I kind of settled on 45 degrees uh, for many reasons after experimenting with some other angles. A normal bar you're holding into one position, you can't lean back any further, you can't lean forward any further. But with this bar, you have different positions to hold on to. The first fast mountain bike cross country racers were a bunch of road racers who came in and brought their bicycle fit into mountain biking. And when I was at GT, we were actually building their mountain bikes to fit them like their road bikes. And that is how a lot of bikes still are today. A lot of bikes are built kind of with road fit formulas. When I broke away from that while I was building my bikes, I realized if I could just stand on my feet more and hold on to the handlebars as if I'm standing on my feet and holding on to just something right in front of me and I'm not leaning on it, I'm just holding on to it and I can steer with this, like somebody on a motorcycle, somebody on a jet ski, somebody on a snowmobile, or even uh, 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 pushing my wheelbarrow. I'm just holding on to this wheelbarrow and I'm walking and I'm using a lot of uh, power to move a large load and I'm trying to be efficient while doing it. And I can do all this without hurting my back or without being bent over um, and generate a lot of force. The handlebar allows you to slide further to the back. So if I'm going down a steep hill, I can shift my weight way to the back and put the front wheel out in front and get behind it and make it down the steep hill without endoing. And if I'm going up a steep hill, I can slide my hands into this forward position, stand up and climb in a very forward position. This is one of the original or older style H bars. 45 degree sweep, same position right here, right at the wide part of the bar, one finger braking. On, on this original handlebar, the brake lever went in the front. You can see there's the clamp clamping right in front. So you'd slide your brake lever over the front and brake from here. And there really wasn't room to add shifters because the shifters wanted to be right where the crossbar is. So now on the, on the newer version of the, H, of the loop H bar, this bends forward and now allows you to put the shifter and brake on from the, from the rear. And now you have access to everything and you can reach the shifter. You can see how it evolved. Three straight pieces of tubing. Eventually it ended up with a curve so you could hold into this a little better. And then the full connection came in the front once the brake levers and shifters went to the rear. So I've been evolving this bar for, for a long time and um, it's a great bar. This bar has many hand positions. Uh, this is my main position for control. One finger on the brake, great control. You're, you're kind of riding in a short stem position, not too much weight on your hands. If I'm, if I'm riding along, I wanna go a little faster and I'm kind of chasing somebody down or just wanna hunch over a little more, I'll ride out into this position and kind of lean down. Sometimes spread out into this position. This is great if your hands are, you know, feeling uncomfortable at all because it really opens the blood back up into your fingers. So I'll ride this a lot on a long ride. And then if I want to rest and get down a little more into a headwind, hook down into here. So we have all these positions, um, reaching the brakes. Of course, you can still reach the brakes from different positions, reach your gears. This is the 710 bar. The, uh, the 710 millimeters from center to center on the width here. We also have a 660 millimeter bar that comes to right about here. It's the original width of the bar. And with the 660, you're right at the back of the bar when you're uh, at, the, at the rear control position. But with the 710, you can slide all the way up to here, sit upright, and just kind of enjoy the ride and sit up a little more further back. But if you're riding in narrower trails, this could be a little too wide hitting the trees. So. For out open road touring and long distance riding, we're seeing more people going with the Loop 710 because you can sit back here and get more comfortable uh, and you have just more hand positions. Here's the same handlebar. Here it is on, on a Jones 29 set up for the road and it has the Narwhal uh, arrow bar. I already showed you we have these positions riding up into here. You have the semi arrow position, but if you really want to lean down, you can hook into here with good steering. Uh, good aerodynamics, put a little extra padding on the crossbar right here for my forearms. Actually, my forearms are actually resting here and here. I don't really need uh, cups or anything like that to rest my arms. A lot of people are really into this bar and I'm happy because the, the main reason I do this is so that I can have, I mean, it's really so I can have the bike I want to ride so I can ride the best I can possibly ride because the bikes that I rode in the past held me back and would cause me to crash, cause me to slide out, make my hands go numb. Uh, just wear me out and make me quit riding sometimes or not even start riding because it was so uncomfortable or or so dangerous in a way and by changing what i believed in bikes and realizing that a lot of the things that i had believed in bikes and had been taught in bikes it's, 
it's not correct information, I realized uh, that I could really improve things and make it a lot better.